I know the attention span of youngsters is not long enough to watch an entire baseball game. That's why the support beams under the bleachers double as a jungle gym. The Douglas Cats versus the Cody Cubs in the A-League State Tournament in Torrington. Top of the first. Douglas batting. Andres Robles finds a spot in right center field and drops the ball in that spot. Cy DeLuna rushes in to make the score one to nothing. Bottom of the first. Cody answers. Cooper Brown bounces one into left field for a base hit. That will play Keegan Brown, and this game is tied up at one run apiece. Next batter, Connor McLeod will get a bounce off the pitcher's mound, and that will result in a base hit. Cooper Brown will complete his trip around the bases to make the score 2-1. to one. Top of the second, the Cats were facing elimination, so they had to do something. Jordan Bobrowski makes a contribution. He will get a ribby in the form of number 15, who is not listed in the program, and the score is tied again, this time at 2. Bottom of the second, this should have been an out, but it was not. Jared Grins with a pop-up, and the ball will pop out of the second baseman's glove. Jordan Wasia will take advantage of the miscue to put the defending state champs up 3-2. to two. Moving on, McLeod again, another base hit, another RBI as Grins will go home, but this highlight is not over. Douglas was a little slow in getting the ball in, and Cooper Brown has enough speed that by the time the defense realized it, it was too late. The Cubs have the score doubled up. It's 5-2. to two. Top of the fourth. Cats trailing 6-2. to two. Ransom Ali will tease the left field line, and it's a fair ball. DeLuna is going to giddy up and go from second and make it in standing, but his team is on the wrong end of a 6-3 to three score. Bottom of the fourth. Grenz thought about bunting, then he decided to swing. Good idea. This base hit will play two as Keegan Brown will touch the plate, and not far behind him was Wasia. Cody was in a pretty good spot with an 8-3 lead. And the hits kept on coming. Tristan Blatt will get in on the action. Grenz will score another run as the Cubs would increase their lead to 9-3. Bottom of the fifth. They were trying to put the mercy rule into effect. Grenz with the bases loaded, and that will produce more runs. Hayden Bronnenberg and Devin Engel are in, and a sacrifice fly later on would push the score up to 12-3. Bottom of the sixth. This is the first time this tournament that the Cubs have had to go this far into a game. Keegan Brown will finish the job as he will sky a ball to left field. Cody Phillips will officially make this a 10-run lead and end the game. Cody was already assured of being in the championship game, but they would go ahead and win this extra game 13-3.